Hey everybody, call me Felix, and we're back on the chain. And for the first time ever, I'm trying arguably the Philippines' most popular pizza restaurant, Greenwich. A few months ago, I took the boys out to the other big pizza restaurant chain in the Philippines, which happens to be a mid-tier pizza house back home in California, Shakey's, for their famous pizza, fried chicken, and mojo potatoes. I was quite impressed with our local Shakey's down in San Nicolas y Locos Norte, and inevitably we had to taste Greenwich across the street at Robinson's Place y Locos. Greenwich first launched in 1971, and up until 1994, this pizza chain only had 50 branches. And from the mid-1990s onward, Jollibee, or the holding corporation that owns Jollibee and Chow King as well, acquired Greenwich and expanded it to virtually every corner of the Philippines. Today, you can find Greenwich just as easily as you can find a Jollibee or Chow King near you. Since its inception, Greenwich specializes in pizza and pasta, particularly their best-selling lasagna, but they also make fried chicken and fried potato waves. To this Californian, Greenwich's menu is similar to Shakey's, except that it is more streamlined and geared for fast food, compared to the relaxed throwback vibe to the American pizza parlor you get at Shakey's. Still, it's inevitable to compare Greenwich with Shakey's, especially for Warren who is still very much in love with Shakey's since first bite. As for yours truly, I found myself enjoying one particular dish at Greenwich, raving about it as the best thing to come out of any major Filipino restaurant chain. Keep watching to find out what really impressed me. And before rolling on with my review, apologies in advance for the audio problems as the Greenwich dining area is out in the open of a Robinson's Ilocos place and you can hear the air conditioner humming throughout. I might as well apologize in advance for when we do Mangi Nasal eventually as it also shares the same foyer as a dining area. And before we could eat anything, we had one little thing about pronunciation we had to agree upon first. What do you guys say? Greenwich or Greenwich? We say Greenwich in, Amer in English. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I heard Greenwich. It's uh, Greenwich. Most, most of them here, they pronounce Greenwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they For say me, Greenwich. I pronounce Greenwich. Ah. That's it. Yeah, it's Greenwich. Greenwich. Okay. Greenwich is Greenwich. Not Greenwich, it's Greenwich. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm from PT, I say Greenwich. <laughs> okay, let, okay, that issue out of the way. I'm from Asian, so my English is like hard. Greenwich, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the pronunciation is still a controversy. So, well, what's more important is the taste. Ooh la la. Pizza. All manner of pizza, all in pizza. There's extra cheese on one of these. This is the all-in with the sausage and pepperoni and bacon crumbles, I think. Ooh, yeah. Extra tech. Oh, that's the extra cheesy one. Yay. Well, I know I can't wait. <laughs> so amazing. Wow. So this is a nine inch, <laughs> nine inch pizza, nine inch pie, nine inch nails. Oh, look at the extra cheese. There we go. We got ourselves the group meal. So it includes one nine inch pizza. And so you also get chicken and rice and um, pasta, two types of pasta. It's like everything a growing boy needs. And it's for six, but we are four. We are for, yeah. And I folded my little pizza just like this. Oh. Oh shoot, there is there pineapple in here anyway? Well yes there is. What do you think, Warren? You're the first to try it. You don't look the, convinced. The, the bread is kinda of smooth. They always say that's smooth, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's freaking good. Let's it's see. freaking good, says Warren. All right, I'll be the judge of that. So I think this is the all-in overload with um, four different types of meat, like pepperoni, sausage, ham, bacon crumbles, I think. There's a piece of pineapple on that side. Uh, I don't know. I don't really believe that pineapples belong on pizza. The crust, okay. I don't think it's as airy but it is a pretty good well-made crust good breadiness 
I think it's a slightly more dense than Shakey's. It's a little sweeter. I don't know if I hit that pineapple yet. It's a little more, I think, ready for me. The, so the sauce doesn't really, like the tomato sauce doesn't really have that tartness out of like regular American pizza. The sausage isn't as peppery as back home too. You know, like we put, we put anise seeds in our Italian sausage and um, anise seeds and um, pepper. I'm not really getting that here. Second of them. Slightly sweet. Um, I think the shakies and Greenwich or have green wing. Okay, I'm gonna just call it Greenwich for you guys. Okay, shakies and Greenwich make two different types of like the pizza. You can't really compare. Shakies really does make an American style pizza. This is more a Filipino style pizza that caters to an American taste anyway. So I can say conclusively on pizza alone. For my palate and for the toppings that are the quality of the toppings, I think Shakey's is better. Oh, hey, fried chicken and Williams. Ooh, la la. So that's chicken and whey. There's our fried chicken. Mm. Now, Greenwich is owned by Jolly Bee, the same company that owns Jolly Bee and Chow King. So, curious to see how the fried chicken tastes like. It's a fried potato. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Sauce. Gravy. Mm -hmm. Rice. Rice I don't care for. <laughs> but, you know, okay. they offer it with the chicken. Ooh, let's do a drumstick. There we go. Drumstick, and I have a thigh here. I'm gonna take up some of this sauce as well. Actually, it's better than shakies. It's better than Shakey's? Yeah. Mm, I think I'm getting more of a lemon pepper, very slight lemon pepper taste. The skin, um, it has a little bit salty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And crunchy. It's like if Jollibee did like a slight variation on like lemon pepper chicken, that's what this is. Yeah. But a little more salty. Ooh, but it's piping, piping, piping hot. Yeah. How about that gravy? My gravy is a little thicker, which I tend to like. It's more supple, so I'm liking that. Now I think Shakey's has more of like a a glassy breading, so it's not like overly breaded. Here's a little bit more crunchy. A little more, a little thicker that batter. And I love the cut of these uh, potatoes. They remind me of um, waffle fries at Chick Fil A with this cheese. The cheese is a little slightly sweet for me. Oh, here we go. I got the lasagna. I got me a lasagna for myself because lasagna. I think there's one of their specialties here at Greenwich. More of that chicken. Now I will say the waves here are not exactly like waffle fries back home. Because waffle fries back home, like Chick-fil-A especially, they have like those um, holes. They have holes in the middle of the potato. So it feels airier on, on the mouthfeel. So this one feels more starchy. That cheese tastes a little sweet. More sugary. There's a nice level, like a, a thin layer of crispy of crispiness here to get through the uh, waves of the potatoes. What I have to say about the chicken, I think I like the chicken quite a bit. Nice and crunchy. There's like a salt, pepper. There's not really a lemon pepper thing going on for it, I think. It's more of just simple salt and pepper like shakies. There's a slight Jolly Bee taste to those the chicken. It's really like having Jolly Bee chicken with your pizza. There's that familiar, you know, salt and oil taste that you get from Jolly Bee chicken. So it's kind of like a cross between like Jolly Bees and Shakey. I've just bit into that thigh. 
It's really juicy. Look at the juice coming out of that. Well, you know what? This might be really in the running for best fried chicken out of like the chain restaurants here. The skin, I think, nicely crunchy. It still feels a little glossy. Shakey's is thinner and glossier. So I feel like the chicken, I give the slight edge to Greenwich. What do you feel? Chicken? Chicken. What do you give, Greenwich or Shakey's? For me, a little bit closer to Shakey's, but I'm <laughs> gonna go, I'm gonna, yeah. I picked Shakey's for me. Shakey's fried chicken still? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know, they're the meat, kind of meat. Here is like salty. Yeah, that's the only thing, yeah. I feel though, this is the chicken is juicier here than at Shakey's. So, um, I agree, it's a little saltier. But I think if push comes to shove, I would take Greenwich. That guy is really bursting with juice, I think. Out of Jollibee, Chow King, and McDonald's and Greenwich here, I like Greenwich's fried chicken so far. I think that I feel like the juiciness makes up for it being a tad bit salty. Okay, let me take a taste of this lasagna because this is what they're quite known for. See that sauce kind of looks sweet. Look at the cup, the color doesn't look red, it kind of looks like orange, like a dark orange flavor, a, a dark orange complexion. Yeah, the sauce is not sweet, which is good, but I feel like I'm not sure if it's because of the quality of the cheese. Because the cheese to me, like in the pizza and in the pasta. Have like a slight, as if there's like a little tinapa sort of taste to it. You know, like a little slight smoked fish taste that you get at the very beginning, it teases you like it to do, like it will go in that direction. I feel like that's what it does here. I feel like the quality of the cheese, not as great. <laughs> here, have one. A little strange, isn't it? <clears throat> I knew it. What? It tastes like um, macaroni with spaghetti sauce and oh. corn with mixed with corned beef, right? Corned norte? Yeah. Ay ay ay. <laughs> but the cheese. Ula. Corn is mixing the spaghetti. It looks like Filipino spaghetti, but the <laughs> that's like mixed with pasta too. Hold on, Mr. Future President. This is now yours, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. It yeah. kind of looks Are like you. Your, Dad, you know what it looks like? It looks like your pancit canton with sardines. The canned yeah. sardines. It looks like that, doesn't it? Got right, it. Warren has mixed it up. I think this is like supposed to be spaghetti bolognese because it has like the ground beef there. Definitely smells like a lighter Pinoy spaghetti. Like a lighter version of uh, like banana ketchup, I smell. Yeah, it's sweet. Um, Not very. Maybe they they put um, oregano on it. Mhm. Mm you know what that is? That tastes like. It's like that bar, at, like that bologna from like that inferior bar s brand. That's it. That's the taste. I figured it out. Their meats taste like a little bit like a cross between smoked corned beef, cor it, like smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that there, I'll finish it. Canned corned beef that had been smoked and then tastes like that inferior bar S bologna. This is like nothing but like a patty of meat paste. Ye potted, clotted meat paste, oh gosh. All right, everybody. Could you believe it? <clears throat> Four of us took down every single thing here, except the rice, because why do you eat rice with, pot with spaghetti and fried chicken and Fries, I do not know. And I don't understand. So, final thoughts on Greenwich. 
What do you think, Warren, of all this? Um, the pizza, pasta, um, chicken. Yes. The uh, one, Laria. This one, lasagna. Oh, lasagna. They're all delicious. Like, yeah. All delicious. Okay. And for me, shake it, shake it, and pizza. Like, it's hard to compare, but for me, my own, I love shake it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna echo that. But <clears throat> I'm gonna say that the fried chicken, I was slightly better because I'm more impressed with it because it's really juicy. Um, the breading's really crunchy through. The only thing is, of course, like Warren correctly said, it's a bit on the salty side. I'm willing to forgive that. It might be the best fried chicken at a Philippine chain. That's including Jollibee, Chow King, McDonald's. And who else am I missing? That might include Shakey's. Potatoes, I wish they were more like waffle fries at Chick-fil-A. Like, a little more crunchy. You know, a little easier to get through, but because it's a little more... Just to give you more uh, comparison, Mo the Mojos at Shakey's are a little more crunchy, a little more breaded through, and then feel a little more dense. This is lighter, and also um, has more herbs on it. So, quite good. Their cheese dip, unfortunately, is a little too sweet. And on that note, really, their pasta, um, pretty decent. The problem is, for me, if you're gonna make a Pinoy spaghetti, you might as well go all the way and make one like Jollibee. Um, but that said, I would like Greenwich's spaghetti better than Jollibee if it didn't taste like smoked tinapa, um, corned beef that had been, like, canned carne norte that had been, um, smoked. And then the last one you're gonna laugh, and especially for you in the States, it tastes like Bar S. Bologna, 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 Bar S Bologna. Bar S Bologna is like the worst bologna you can get in America practically because it just tastes like meat paste that almost tastes a bit like, um, it tastes like potted meat with um, Vienna sausage and Spam. It's just disgusting. Um, the meat, unfortunately, not meaty enough, and of course, I wouldn't want too much of that because, um, not really that good as far as the meats go concerned. Um, the cheese really tastes like smoked tinapa to me. I don't really like the smoky sweetness that comes with the cheese here, but I mean, pasta, eh, it's okay, but not for me in general. Um, Pizza, again, does not hold a candle to Shakey's because um, the quality of the toppings and the texture of the crust are better at Shakey's. Now, of course, it all depends on which, um, cha which um, location you go to. So maybe Greenwich is better at other locations. But I think the fried chicken for me, pretty much the best thing here. Potatoes next, then pizza, then... Pasta somewhere at the bottom. Okay. Warren, can you wrap and take us home? This one? No, not the rice. Can you take us home with the spiel? Spiel? Dang it, Warren. The thing you say at the end. Uh, okay, guys. So... Green wheat. The bet... bet uh, it is green wheat. The better things to do that if you are near here in Locos Norte, you must come here and visit here um so Nicholas Greenwich and we had a real Greenwich here it's a pizza I'm gonna show it to you <laughs> yeah it's rice <laughs> guys the last so, one rice we didn't eat guys if you like this video don't forget to comment share and like then the most important thing is subscribe <laughs> <laughs> Oh la la <laughs> that's it the empire has never ended oh okay <laughs> we really should end it at that alrighty let's do it. empire never ended everyone
I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American. Fight for what's right. Fight for your life. Dun, dun, dun.